Hi, Baderon. Oh, more people. Who's the black mage? I such a task Who are those from the books. Huh? Who are those people? I don't know. Was mind? I'm afraid that. She... Oh wait, <laughs> I have to go back again. <laughs> <laughs> that totally took me out. So I... sorry for that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I such a task was on the books. Was mined. I'm afraid that ship has already sailed, friend. Ah, might you be the adventurer who accepted the job of investigating Sastasha? Hmm, it would seem that ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbor, none the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. No matter. The wheel will turn and our chance will come. You're right, of course, but there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Not a wink of sleep, great leader. Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism as will earn us a place in the songs of every alehouse in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventures as yet unborn to follow our shining example. Do you have such a goal, large or small? It matters not. Only have to start to reach for and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hardship. Keep your eye on the prize and all obstacles will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad, would you? Well, golds are his arms and armor for the spirit. I wish you fortune in your endeavor, sir. What a lofty... A monologue. I was like, this is a mo motivational speech. Yeah. What, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, Who are you? Why are you talking down. to us? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Back then, Ari, with all your limbs on tail to tell, I'll wager. Oh, loud children outside. Fish bags. And there I was thinking you'd only have to crack a pirate skull or three. Seven else. You turn your back for five bloody minutes and their scaly bastards you set up shop on their bleeding doorstep. Still sounds like you've left them pieces, so I don't suppose they'll be carrying out whatever mischief they was planning. Unless they was planning on feeding themselves to the fauna of Sastasha, of course. Any rot, all's well that ends well. Thanks for shedding some light on the mystery. I knew you'd I totally want uh, to have the apple pie. You, you'd get the job done, lad. You always do. Now, I bet you're dying for rest, but just in case you're not, I was wondering if you might be interested in taking on another job. It just so happens that I've had a request from our sister guild in Gridania, see? Seems the forest folk are in need of a venturer that can things done. For them, the task for help like this, you can bet the task won't be no skip through a sunny glade, but after the way you dealt with our fishback infestation, I would doubt it's anything you can't handle. Give a shout when you're ready and I'll lay it out for you. So, this is the next dungeon, basically. Okay. Ready to hear yeah. about that job then? Like I said, re the request comes from our sister oh. guild in Gridania. And that's all I know, but whatever it is you get asked to do, I somehow doubt it posed any trouble for Ventura as survived the battle in Sastasha. If you think you might be interested, you'll want a word with Mother Mion, my counterpart in Gridania. Good luck, mate. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come to take your... Oh, you're not here to dine. Dare I hope that you are the adventurer Baderon sent word about. You are! The matron be praised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mion, and the carline canopy is my place. With regard to the task, uh, to the task in question, there is a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details, and I shall brief you. Yep. Ooh, the cutscene. Ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's to the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting, Mion, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have one step, uh, have none stepped forward. Good evening to you too, Bow Lord. A uh, Bow Lord, you need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. 
The good news is, your journey hasn't been wasted. I am pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. My thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Levine, and I lead the men and women of the gods' quiver. Now, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called Tamtara Deepcroft. The place was once a Galmorian settlement, but we Gridanians have long interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been seen skulking about the Deepcroft, and with ever-increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we su uh, suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past, and will leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the Deepcroft with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, the Calamity decimated our ranks, and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the Ixal at bay. The Birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear a storm may be brewing. In anticipation of this, I have been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelfth's Wood, lest we be taken unawares. This, this situation so being, we must turn to others to deal with the Lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on, uh, on you to undertake this task, friend? Of course. You have my gratitude. Once you've seen to, the, uh, to your preparations, Pray make your way to the Deepcroft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. Let's go! Oh, look! We saw them in Limsa. Yeah. How did they get there so quickly? I don't know. The big yeah, game. like a story game, so, correct. So, God's Quiver Bow. You're a Zumgi drank Barazid, I take it. Thanks for helping us out, friend. No doubt the Bow Lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the Deepcroft and purge it of the lambs of Dalamud. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity put an end to the Sixth Astral Era. The cultists took the... Uh, took the lesser moon, Dalamud, for their god, believing that it would deliver them from their devastation. And so they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that uh, the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it served only to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. The lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say, everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their lord and savior, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the deep croft, you may be sure that no good will come of it. For the sake of Gridania and Eorzea at large, put an end to their madness. Nice. Comments! Let's go! I already did that. I walked away while did I, I did the comments. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait, this is a dungeon, right? Yes. Okay. And after this dungeon, we have another dungeon. But this is. So the when I'm healer, I can completely go. concentrate on healing, right? I don't um, have to do anything else. You have to do damage. Everyone has to do damage. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping you need to take over for the damage. You do you have to do more damage, you have to do my part too. No, I'm going to heal. Oh, it's an astrologian <laughs> again. I, I can't move, wait! Oh, okay. <laughs> no stock. So, do we have to do anything in this dungeon that is like out of the ordinary? Um, yeah, but you will see it. Uh, I think... Okay. Our healer wants me to pull more. That's fine. Let's go. That should be enough. I'm dead. <laughs> what? Imagine. <laughs> That's the time I'm talking about you. 
pull more and then eat instant death. No, no, no. Because, you pull because too much. I'm one of the tanks that uses his um, the defensive. Buff. You use your buttons. Yeah. Which can't be listen. I'm just passing you. And I'm playing with a the controller as well, and still better as other people. I actually wonder how uh, the controller uh, would be. It works so well. It is so well made. Also way, way better for my shoulders. So, walk into this room, so... Um, you get the achievement for uncovering the map. Uh, just inside the room, completely? Yeah. yeah. How do I see if I get an achievement? Uh, it will take a while until we're at the end of the map. Oh, okay. Makes sense. The one enemy was not on me. Damn. And death. No. <laughs> what a KC5. I forgot that I don't have all my abilities. <laughs> so, first boss fight. Yeah, and the dungeons will not change. They are basically soloable, especially later when you have more abilities. But they are only soloable when you know what you're doing with your buttons. What? Yeah. I'm not knowing what to do. Press one. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, five. <laughs> Oops, okay, to be fair, I'm also using my pet a little bit. Yep. So, I'm doing more than you two. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I'm using energy drain and faster. That's what I'm using. Oh, fair. No, I'm using my pet. My pet is. I'm also using my pet, not that. I wasn't paying attention to my buffs. Sometimes you heal. Ooh. I don't believe that. You would have died so many times already if I didn't use it. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm standing next to but you. But we have a healer. <laughs> no, not, not in this dungeon, but in, oh, in okay. before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, in general. Yeah. So, this? Oh. Probably don't need it. So. Ah, uh, are you in the room? Yes, nice. Okay. Oh, chest, loot. Yeah, yeah, I already opened it. Great. I'm just going to pick it up. Three more
So, next boss. <laughs> I smell fresh blood. I'm stealing the loot. So as an example, now you could use the limit break, but with the last boss in the dungeon, we get another limit break bar, so it gets even stronger. Oh. I think our healer wants to walk further. Pull. So walk into this room. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, walk into the room, right? No. No, that's I don't know if you have to go fully into the room, but it's uh, Let's take the safe way. Yeah, yeah, Um, I'm dying. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's like a loop, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you got three heals. I hope you two also heal you. <laughs> no. I'm a damage deep. No. I don't know what my healing is. Physics, right? What's physics? No, no, no. No. We see how it is. Ooh, nice. Uh, what? Healing is physics, right? The ability name. Yep, should be. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whee! 
two more to go. No, just uh, these two, and then it's the final boss. Uh, so, yeah, two more way. to go. <laughs> Fuck them yeah. up! Wait. Huh? Wait, how many do we have to go? This one, uh, and then it's go go These go. two, and then it's the final boss. Yeah, look at yeah. the right, and I saw the orb. That's right there. Just standing there menacingly. Oh, no. Ah, crap. Wasn't thinking. What? what? Uh, no, I wanted to use an ability, but um, in my mind it was on another button. Behold, Galvant, the Dominator, who summons me from the void to reside. Okay. <laughs> How's this thing called Cthulhu? <laughs> Cthulhu? Whatever. No, Galvant, the Dominator. Or do you mean the original Cthulhu? Yeah, the original. Like yes. it looks like it. So, uh, did Not you get the is. achievement for the map? Uh, mapping the realm. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah, I'm also so the little incons uh, inconspicuous imp has to die, otherwise the boss is um... healing. Oh, uh, why healing? Oh, there was a question. Is the boss healing when this other thing is uh, oh, there? Oh no, no, strong? Uh, just uh, not attackable. Okay. Are we going to get the jobs Ooh. today or a different day? Um, if we are depends able to on make how it to fast we are through the main quest. Oh, we well. have to finish the main quest, otherwise it's not possible. Um, I'm going to oh, pull close? everything. Um, one of you can do... Oh no, the enemies are basically already dead. Um, yeah. If you want, after the inconspicuous in. Uh, one of you can just limit break the boss right now. You took it. You, can do you go. It. Why not you? Be fast or the your boss is dead. Be fast. Okay, do it. Okay, I did it. Bam! Oh. <laughs> Laser from the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see on your stream how it has to be before I'm doing it. <laughs> You have to select the area too, yeah, that's what area. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, and I Let's also did select the area, but I don't know how big the circle was. The limit break, uh, once per dungeon, once per 10 minutes or whatever. That's that, we can now accept quest slash joke. I don't know what that means, but yeah, that I can accept. Oh, anymore. already gone. Okay, then I'm not gonna type anything. Go no greet. Oh uh, no, the limit break you can basically do whenever. The only prerequisite is that uh, the limit bar on the top left has to be full. Oh, and it takes a while. There is no cooldown on okay. it. Welcome back, Azumgi. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the deep craft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. Baderon's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Bolord Levine asked me to pass on the, his thanks. I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late, times being what they are. The guild is constantly in, inundated with petitions, 
and we are hard pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves, with predictably consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. Oh. Ava's gone and it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. <laughs> oh shit, but I tried. <laughs> He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard pressed in the first place. We should have done more, lighten, uh, more to lighten his burden. To hell with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving. It would be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. Every pen and paper group. <laughs> I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise. But I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing. But you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. On by way some of parting advice, get rid of Arius' head. Bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hells you like with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's just, get rid of it, alright? Holy crap! Wait, don't leave me alone, please. Oh, I know who this is! I'm sorry, Avery. Please forgive me. It already begins here? Scenes like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventurers of your experience. I can send men like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Uldar. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer. You are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word and I will be glad to share the details with you. Okay. Let's take the next one. Welcome to the Carline Canopy, a place of respite for adventurers like yourself. It is an honor indeed to receive visitors from afar. As you might imagine, the Twelve Suit has scarcely begun to recover from the devastation wrought by the Calamity, and Gridania wants for all the help it can get. I hope we can count on yours. Wait, oh, I was so fast that the main story quest wasn't loaded. So you're not. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I gotta know. <laughs> so you're not averse to take a little trip. Wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the request comes from uh, comes to us from the Adventurers Guild in Uldar. Once you arrive, seek out Momodi, the proprietors of the Quicksand. Think of her as a Sultanate's version of myself. Chances are she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that you will pull through unscathed. Now off you go, Azumgi, and good luck. Yep. Let's yeah. go. So, Momodi. Welcome to the quicksands, friend. I'm tad busy right now, if you wouldn't mind showing yourself to. Judging by your determined expression, I take it you ain't here for ale. Are you called Azumgi oh, Rangarazi by any chance? Mion sent word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment, not the hero of light. That ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so let's talk business, shall we? The petitioner owed to be arriving any moment now. Gods almighty! Another second under that sun and I would have been set afire. A tankard of ale if you would be so kind. Excellent timing, Papa Sean. It just so happens the adventurer who will be handling your petition is here. So That's this trapping so young lad is a much lauded adventurer, is he? Marvelous, marvelous. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. I'm Papa Sean, formerly of the Sultan's Swarm. I thank you for agreeing to lend us your aid. Mayhap you'd like to apprise Azumgi of his mission. Yes, of course. The petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copperbell Mines. 
To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. These giants are of the clan known as the Hecatoncheries, fearsome creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn dynasty. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them and now prowl the tunnels where the mines ply their traders. Uh, miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities on the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Uh, oh, didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, milady. The people of that age used the Hecaton shares to work their mines by way of enchanted helms. They were able to uh, bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But, as if is of the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hecaton shares of ancestors included the collapse of the miners' lowermost levels, so it was that the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock. Well now, that's got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell in the Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. It said the mines were being reopened so as to meet the rising demand for building materials. Like as not, our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them a danger to us all. There will be no mining at Copper Bell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is a task which we would have you undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. Not. <laughs> of course, nobody was able to do it but us. <laughs> no, only we. The warriors of light. Gods bless you. I feared you might have reservations, but I assure you it is for the best. Hmm, in case you don't know, Copperbell Mines are in Western Thanalan. Do, uh, do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Amagina and Sons is present at the quicksand. The fellow name is Painted Messer, and he knows Copperbell Mines well. It may, it may behoove you to seek his counsel. I need to activate my fan again. So, uh, where is he? Is Painted Messer? Looking for Painted Messer, you found him. So you're the adventurer who's <laughs> volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copper Bell, are ya? You've got guts, mate. I just hope you've got the skill to go with him, cause things ain't pretty down there. The Hecatonchers left the place in a right state, and nary a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell was old when the second UI dynasty was still young. A uh, Ool dynasty, not UI. <laughs> and it was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for a rebuilding effort, the concern, uh, the cons the concern would never have thought to reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain's worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. Our miners stuck up more than they bargained for, like a balrock. <laughs> One swing of the pickaxe too many, and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a hold for want ought to build with it. The stone torches keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. The hope of the nations resting on you, friend. Best of luck. There's been an incident inside the Copper Bell Mines. We're here to ensure that its effective, uh, effects are contained. But for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from here. What? You're the adventurer who's volunteered to quell the Hecatonchers. I don't think that Papa Shan would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. 
The Giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready as best as you can and enter at will. Okay, ready? I am ready. What? Ready, yes. I didn't yes. hear Yito. I'm also ready. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, was oh, that was fast. Holy crap. Instant. <laughs> that needs a good sip of cocoa. Oh, that sounds good. Hydrate. Let's go! You think we have to check her off? Or just um, damage? No. Oh, we have to kill those. We can't take a shortcut now. I forgot. Get inside. Oh, they're resetting? Kinda of forgot that. Yeah, we don't need the experience. Wait, is there nothing here to pick up? No. Huh. I really thought there would be a pick upable here. So be it. Okay. What did you just say? I don't know. Words. Something, something. I'm eating and then I'm just muting and then I'm muting and then. No, my cat. Oh. Uh. But I said, I said scam. Ah. Uh. I heard nothing. Scammed, he no. said scammed. Oh. Nothing there, and we can. Mm. I'm Maybe. just gonna walk. I don't believe you, Yuto. You did sit up here. Oh. You never believe. For good reasons, I don't believe you. <laughs> Why? You are it's scaring me so often. <laughs> no. Don't have no, active no, memories no. from that. Oh yeah. Just say tower, house, island. What? Um. Uh, did they change the dungeon? No. Did you forgot the dungeon? No, there is stuff missing. Are you sure? Yes. Do we have to pick this up? Or yes, pick it up. 
Uh, there is also more um, in the north of the room, on the hill, more fire sand. Wait, we need does all. it count for all of us? Yes, or does this it count is, for... uh, the items in the dungeon are just for the dungeon and are shared with the group. Oh, okay, so I don't have to do it myself. No. So, blasting device. Kotos. You can use limit break again, I'm not interested with the uh, last one. Uh, not no, the last one, right? Um, you can't because um, the limit bar is not full. I don't... Oh, there's yeah. a limit bar. I found yeah, it. Where is it. And also don't use it on uh, the first bosses. It's a waste. If the bar is full already. For me, my limit break bar is on the top left. Oh, I see too, yeah. Uh, they have the Discord names are uh, open. Like on top of it, so I don't see. I don't have the limit, uh, the, the um, Discord things right now. I could enable it for stream. Hmm? The what? I don't have the Discord names. Oh. Oh. You need to turn it on in the game thing. Yeah, yeah, no. Tiny key. Nothing for us. I mean. So we have to go to the rooms left and right. So there should be not only treasure. We need to get an achievement when you walk up to all the rooms again, or is this just for this one? What do you mean? Oh wait, oh I misclicked. No. I wanted to use neat, but I did press read. Oops. Oh. Yeah, we probably already have better gear. Doesn't matter. The neat greed is weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the first boss right now was also different. They changed the dungeon. It's very interesting. I like it. I like the change. It already introduces uh, Tank Buster and multiple AoEs. Are you going to blast this opener? Now you can. Oh, okay. I thought the... White mage would do it. What does she even do here? <laughs> uh, Except healing. <laughs> my just game kidding. just lagged. Oh no. <laughs> Crying dark. Okay, so you basically don't have to do anything here. But I think they change it. Well, oh, yeah, you have the... to press Oh yeah, they changed it. The, the mechanic is gone. Holy crap, because no one knew how to do the boss? That's was rough. Was it so d difficult to do? No, it was so easy. Actually crazy.
I mean, to be honest, the amount of people that died in World of Warcraft because they didn't move at all. Yeah, fair. I mean, this On little movement would be game. Yeah, this little. Yeah, I, I say World of Warcraft because it was one of the first. Mm hmm. And one of the most played. In the first dungeon we did, I didn't know that the loot, you could go through the loot to see different kinds of loots, and I mm. only did the one, the first one. <laughs> oh. I'm on cooldown. So, boss time! Oh, Thanks. also new arena! What? Slaves no more! Free! Free! I mean, I would also rebel after some time and I'm a slave. Yeah, makes sense. I understand them. Mm hmm. Are we the good guys? <laughs> I'm not so sure anymore. Damn, that's really a completely new arena. So let's try it out, how it goes. Come to him, come to him. Under him, under him. I didn't expect that. Do we use last limited break now? Or? Oh! Under him? Okay, you can do the limit. He's gonna die in a moment. Let's get him. Not enough. So that's about 4% of... Um, hmm? Of the overall health. Already gone no. again. Oh, I wait. um after the dungeon I have to quickly go and then I'm be at back. No. Yep. After we finished. Yeah. Also after the after. This, um, yeah. So. Proceed. Ah, the conqueror of Copperbell returns. 
Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume and Ulda will have the material she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good tidings with Papushan the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to report to Momodi. It'll do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. One piece! <laughs> <laughs> what? Where is this? <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> no! That was the wrong scream. Why didn't she scream no? <laughs> Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. Please, sir, I didn't steal nothing. I so bought this, paid for it with my own coin. <laughs> what rot! You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mole meat, much less choice cut of dodo. I'm going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole, or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades, you know. Help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I am a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me, whatever capacity I require, the authorities needn't hear of your crime. What a douchebag. What? It's getting worse. No. But I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve as me witness. You, you are armed. Please, adventurer, help me, a beggar. I swear on my mother's grave. I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with the coin I'd save. I only wanted to treat me children to a decent meal. And who the hells are you when you're at home? The stork's master? I've had enough of this mama's farce. You lot, teach them a lesson. That took a while. Let's mess him up. I take care of this, the rest of you can watch. It's really smart to go one by one. <laughs> of course, always. Not bad for an adventurer. Should have stopped at the seventh ale. Stop bloody gobbling at me and give me a hand, will ye? Bugger! It doesn't bugger, even do bugger. damage to me. Yeah. I mean, we are the warrior of light. That's it. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank ye, kind adventurer. Thank ye thrice over. Ah, migraine. Ah. <laughs> First, nobody wants to step in, and suddenly, when I beat them up, then they're mm, suddenly everyone clapping. Is That's around like us. weird. Such hypocrites. I'd swear there were more refugees than when I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, I'm really. Behind. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from the trade routes. And problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? It's the same thing happening in the other cities. If the talk is true, yes. 
Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced, Ulda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the, in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we'll always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Gallian Empire patrolling the streets for riffraff. It may well come to that. Impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. What will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Thanalan. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Looking around, you'd think that Ulda was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity, and you'd see no end to the misery and suffering. So she paid for the meat. We saw it in our own mind's eye. Yes. So, so now no. we believe her. What, what if he didn't pay and then we just beat someone up and she didn't pay? <laughs> uh, sir, are you alright? Yes, I just took ibuprofen. <laughs> what? Now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. I, as did I, leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? The one behind the obvious sign, like there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will overlook this, but just this once. No, yeah, it wasn't a show up, no. God then... bless you, adventurer. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. I don't bear thinking about... Oh. Uh, bye. <laughs> At least give me something. No, where's my reward? A handshake is enough. She just ignored me and left. No. Ever the selfless hero I see. It has been a while, adventurer. I've been watching you closely ever since you flew out of Limsa Lominsa. You discharge your duty as the Admiral's, Admiral's personal envoy with admirable humility, and you have displayed unfaltering courage in the face of danger ever since. Whensoever you came upon those in need, you gave them succor with no thought of personal gain. Ah, it kind of taints us right now. <laughs> in summary, <laughs> you have demonstrated all of the qualities we seek in an adventurer. For reasons I cannot well explain, your ever deed seems invariable to serve the general good, whether you mean it or whether you mean to or not. It is a happy nag, and one which speaks volumes for your character. Yet for all your admirable qualities, it is your gift which intrigues me most. I speak of the visions you experience, visions like the one you had mere moments ago, if I'm not mistaken. I can provide you with means to understand them. An acquaintance of mine is blessed with the self-same talent, you see. If you so desire, I can introduce you to her. She and I fight for a common cause, a cause which would greatly benefit for your support. I'm not telling you this. <laughs> If you would agree to lend us your strength, we should, be uh, we should be glad to do all within our power to aid you in your personal endeavors. Think on my offer a while. Should you decide to accept it, pray speak with Momodi. The proprietress of the quicksand is a close friend and ally of ours. We still don't know her, her cause. <laughs> no. Inform her that you have been chosen by the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and she will tell you where to find us. Now it's getting good. <laughs> hmm, scenes like that are becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. 
Don't worry though, if you work hard, you'll probably be alright. <laughs> probably. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't get pestering me every time you grace your knee, eh? Cause I do enjoy hearing tell of gentlemen's woes with the women folk from time to time. <laughs> Poor lad. Ah, Zungi, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you'd been hard at with giants in the dark. You're every ilm the adventurer Mion sought, uh, said you'd be, Azungi. The station master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. Oh, before, you f uh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew she meant you right away. Oh, she's back! Thank you for sparing the time. Mm -hmm. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. Who is she? We never saw her. Oh, we saw her in Gridania, the one who got her tank killed. Oh, okay. My name is Edda. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... When... I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avere, and he and I were to be wet in the spring. You may not remember oh, him, no. but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are. You see, an adventurous adventurer. And swore that he would be like you one day. And then I, he died. Yeah. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day... I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of the man you are, all that you've achieved, I find that I'm inspired, just as every once was. And so I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask you your name. Azumgi Drang Barazi, I shan't forget. Thank you, Azumgi Drang Barazi. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Oh, we will see her again. Adventuring can be a cruel bleeding business. Time was. Uh, I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Though I'd be right pain in their arts looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post. And I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, Zungi. Ah, what did you say? You want to know about the Scions of the Seventh Dawn? They are beginning to move in earnest then. Listen, Zungi, the Scions are, ain't no ordinary folk. And the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Yeah! Please do. You still don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah, she will tell us now. So, you want to know more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear, if I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on the other, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being Uldan. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these scions of the seventh dawn, you can. They're good people who've made it their mission to solve some of Eorzea's most pressing problems. Cause that ain't no small task, and so they've always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Azumgi. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to find the Scions. But you must promise to keep this information to yourself, as you can probably imagine, it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions headquarters uh, headquartered in Vesper Bay out in Western Thanalan. The place you're looking for is called the Waking Sands. 
Give your name to whosoever at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Azumgi, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget about them as help make you into the adventurer you are. Drop in and tell him how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right well, I said my piece, off you go. So, uh, here. Oh, Tataru! Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Trollololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
the echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. <gasps> what a revelation. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Oh, reading again. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies and the word from me they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. Thank you, Tataru. The pleasure is mine, milady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I am sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. The greater good. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you, know, uh, now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Are they changing the password from time to time? I forgot. I even forgot that the password was um, Wild Rose. Uh, before you talk to her, on the wall behind her, do you uh, recognize the staff? I mean, it's a staff. I've never seen it before. In the intro trailer, when Louis Soir defends everyone with the big shield, and teleports oh, the warriors the away. This is his staff. <laughs> the staff is kind of mm. clipped. Yeah, they. Oh, it's. Uh, they picked up the pieces from the battlefield. Oh, it's broken. Okay. No. Okay, Minfilia. We Scions have but one objective to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. 
Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Azumgi. Uh, the dangers are great. Yours is no small endeavor. I will go with other white rose blooms. I will take this. Uh, what does it this doesn't mean? matter which one you take. I take it you will help us. Oh. Wonderful. I knew oh, you wouldn't let again. us down. Lucky me. But come. I would introduce you to your friends in the order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used yes. to be one of Eorzea's six city-states no. and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelveswood. Hello there! Well, come. <laughs> okay, my turn to introduce Sorry. someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. I have been expecting you. Like a robot. Last but not least is Orianje, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. Lewis but we well. did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh! I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Orianger. Have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Son's mineral concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time, we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. 
You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. So, Jam. So, where is he? There he is. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discovery we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now since the attack on their caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sun's mineral concern have doubled security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard, damn, it's wrong outside. Uh, a fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. <laughs> 